Hello, sweeties. Today we are playing the first game in the Dark Pictures anthology, sequel to the recently played Until Dawn, Man of Medan. Now, I have heard a lot of things about the Dark Pictures anthology. Uh, not all of them good, but for Man of Medan in particular, I have not heard anything bad which is a good sign so hopefully this game delivers in the same way until dawn did given the fact that they've made uh let's see three more dark pictures anthology games and one more game of this style in the quarry um I feel like it's probably a pretty good game, you know? But yeah. Um, I just realized how incredibly dirty my glasses are. So I'm going to jump over here to this scene. And I'm going to grab a thing for my glasses. What I can clean them. Um, while we head into Man of Madon, because I wasn't sure if it had one of those, a lot of, a lot of games do this fun thing where they're like, actually booting it up for the first time is part of the experience. And it's like, no, I just wanted to set my settings before stream. Now the viewers are going to miss content. You fucks. So yeah, I haven't uh, I haven't loaded this one up yet. Oh boy, have I like what is happening? Oh god, these glasses are filthy. What have I been doing? Where has my face been? All right, there we go. Oh yeah, let me get this started. Oh, I can't even see the TV. Um, yeah, dark pictures. All right. Let me, uh, fun fact, because we are playing, uh, an Xbox game today, uh, no shorty. Oh yeah. Let me get, uh, volume for everybody. Let me finish defilthifying these glasses. To the best of my ability. Which they they do it does feel like they're actively fighting back. By the way, chat, I can see you're saying things, some of which are directed at me. Um, because the way I have chat set up, it'll highlight a message if it's uh, directed at me or uses certain uh, nicknames or names that I use. Um, but because I don't have my glasses on my face, I can't see. So give me a moment. All right. There we go. I am prepared to be scared. Put that on a fucking T-shirt. All right, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, things I thought were new were actually old as fuck. Yeah, 20 years of Steam. Uh, want me to grab content warnings? Yes, Cosmo, if you can, that would be lovely. Um, I did take a quick look over them. Um, obviously, there's no easy way to look for content warnings. Um, I used does the dog die and I scrolled through that for a while um, and it's just kind of the usual horror stuff it looks like um, that's a good quote by the way the quote system uh, you can now do the quote search thing I fixed it it works now so if you do uh, 
exclamation mark quote dick it'll tell you about that wonderful quote from uh, until dawn we we do not have an ilias quote in here it's true it's true Oh. Oh, I guess because stop. Interesting. Fun fact, by the way, it works differently than um uh <laughs> it works differently than the Nightbot one. It will um Oh, hold on a sec. Um, it works differently than the Nightbot one. If you do that exact same thing again, you will get a different quote because it chooses randomly from all quotes with that word in it. I believe it's $600 with the dollar sign at the front. Or if you just do 600, that'll work. Oh, I guess I guess it won't work with just 600 because that will try and look up quote 600. Anyway, we spent a lot of time fucking around with quotes. Um we're here to play video games. Ah, Bamco. Yeah, skip to the end. You you've got me by the dick. So Uh You know what? I like I kind of like 65. All right. Yeah, so you can play with other people with these, um, starting with this one, I believe, uh, which is fun. Everybody controls one character, I believe, uh, or a set of characters. Uh, aiming normal, inspect normal. All right. Um, hmm. I feel like that. Oh, no, I didn't turn that timer off. Hold on. Hold on. And we just turn that off. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, audio. All right. Audio preset. Oh, night mode. Thank you. Night mode is the best mode for everything. Um, and some people might go, wait, but that's not the best mode because what if you want I don't I don't want loud louds and quiet quiets I want my ears not to be fucking destroyed when the game is loud and I want to be able to hear people when they're whispering uh, speaking of let's knock this down to uh, let's go 85 feels reasonable 85 as well so that dialogue is king because even with night mode sometimes audio mixing can be a little funky fresh can you change the size of the subtitles under accessibility perhaps oh holds a complete button mash fucking on uh subtitles on subtitle background Give me like a 30% subtitle text size. Um, uh, we'll see how these look when we get in, but we can adjust these. I love a good accessibility. 
and I want performance for graphics. Uh, controls are good. All right. Uh, night mode for audio is basically uh, it compresses the audio. So your your loud noises aren't quite so loud and your quiet noises aren't quite so quiet. It basically normalizes the volume to a degree. Um, the idea being at night, you don't want things to get too loud and you can't have the volume too high. So it makes the quiet things easier to hear and it makes the loud things not so loud. Oh, you mean decent audio mixing? Yep, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'll fight anyone that says otherwise. Um, oh, so this is the thing. Um, oh, maybe it's not on this particular um, thing. But there's a DLC that uh, we have for this. I have no idea what it is. Uh, the, the curator's cut? Um... Don't know what it does, if anything, but yeah. Video game time. Ooh. All right, so right out the gate, we have access to scene selection, okay? This is so nice, so that if we run into a problem like last time, we can just solve the problem. Well, here's the thing, Inky. Media does know how to do audio mixing. The problem is that audio mixing is done 90% of the time with one thing in mind, which is the highest quality surround sound style of audio. Not much is up, Blue. You arrived just in time. We are about to start the video game. Uh, and hopefully, the... Oh, um... Let's go with challenging. Let's go with that nice medium difficulty. All right, I'm hoping there's no QTEs in the opening. Um, because I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I rolled out of bed and started stream today. That's why we were late, because I was comfy. Um, so I'm just going to mute my mic and start chomping on this sandwich. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Okay. All right, let me pin that for you, Cosmo. I think I can do that, right? Yeah. Yeah, so as with um, Until Dawn, 
Some of those may not come up at all during this playthrough, but better to have the full list than um than not just in case. All right. So I guess my I got halfway through the sandwich. Yeah, there will be a lot of gore. There will be a not insignificant amount of flashing lights. Um, so right away, I don't know about y'all, but I'm a little worried about the racism again. So far, <laughs> exactly, Kettle. It's like, so far we're okay. We haven't crossed any lines yet. People fleecing soldiers that are on leave is a universal constant. But let's see how it goes. Also, I like how, again, I'm going to compare this a lot to Until Dawn. We just played it, so it's going to happen. I like how much... Uh, I guess I just more straightforward. Oh, look at that. So here's Charlie and Joe's relationship. And we got, we got a new thing for Joe on his little word bubble there. We got bearings. We got seek. Oh my God. But yeah, so they've expanded on the thing from Until Dawn. Um, every aspect of it. Yeah, this the secrets flowchart, a little bit intimidating. Um, but yeah, that the selection thing, because something that y'all didn't notice um, because you weren't playing in Until Dawn, sometimes it would be like, middle of the left side of the screen, middle of the right side of the screen. And I would have to like point the thumbstick like right and down to get it to select. Or like it would be in like the top right of the screen. And I would have to do like, like almost all the way to the right before it would select it. So. Hey, uh, is he going to grow up all right? Things going to work out for him? Uh, I like the dragon tile. That's a pretty tile. I'm a soldier, so. What do I see? It, it's a fish. It looks like a fish. Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Joe, you're hey, a soldier. What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? You think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter? Gonna start a tab. <laughs> I'll give it a whirl. Oh. Oh, interesting. So no icons um, for when you're aiming this time around. You just need the red reticle. 
里可以搏斗。Getting tighter. Things are going faster. <laughs> yeah, looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? Why do I keep on getting in this mess? We better get back to the ship. We don't want to get branded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Oh man. I so here's my favorite. Here's my favorite part of that. It was. You have only made choices with your heart where possible. Interesting. That's neat. Um, my favorite part about that. Is it's very clearly established that both of those guys speak Chinese or at least understand Chinese pretty well. So he was just so wrapped up in what he was doing, he didn't even fucking hear what she was saying. <laughs> Cargo hold oh. oh, another thing worth mentioning. I generally knew what Until Dawn was about. I knew it was like a, a cabin in the woods, classic horror trope type thing, right? Like college kids, sex, all that stuff. Um, I have, I know one, one singular thing about Man of Madon. Okay. Do you want to know what it is? One of the Ashmore twins is in this game. And I don't know which one. Um, for those of you unaware, the Ashmore twins are a pair of actors who've been in a ton of shit. And I have the most difficult time remembering which one is which. Which makes sense because, you know, they're identical twins. But yeah. That's all I know. So it could very well be that we hang out with Joe and Charlie for a while. Um, so I hope they continue to not be awful here in World War One or post World War One. Right? Po post? No, I guess we can't see. Wait, Sean Ashmore has a twin? Oh, Mojo. You should go look up Ashmore twins and see how many of the things you think Sean Ashmore has been in that are actually his brother. All right, so we have a, a mysterious coffin shaped box on this military transport. Skulls, always a good sign. Ah, three mysterious coffin-shaped boxes. Hey, man. Hey, where's my... Where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? What 50 cents? Come on, man. Hey, buzz off, buddy. Nobody pushes me around. <laughs> I know it's not supposed to be funny, but it's just like... Oh, fuck. Oh no. It's filling with water, you know. Uh-oh. Oh my 
god. Is Dio inside of the coffin? No, there's three coffins. Zombies? Do the soldiers also become zombies? Is this a zombie story? Or Frankenstein story, maybe? Good point, Mojo. This is like World War or post World War One, right? This is June twenty second of uh, a year. World War Two. Oh, I was hoping. I was hoping for more. Oh, it's a picture. It, it's a, a child. Oh, is it his child? Joe, your child. Um. All right, well. Well, fuck. It appears to be a key. Uh, can we? No, that's he's just dead. All right, well. Listen, all I gotta say is if I start hearing somebody shouting Zawarudo, um, I'm going to piss myself and just accept death. Okay, when I, I, this is going to happen a lot where I pause the game and I talk about design decisions. That's just who I am. Um, you don't see a lot of fixed perspective games anymore. Resident Evil famously has switched to third person or in the latest games, first person views. The nostalgia boner I have right now for, for these sequences where it's like I'm moving and then the camera changes and I'm walking toward like, oh, it's so... The theming hits so good. Like, fuck. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on out there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. I like your attitude, Charlie. That's the type of attitude of somebody that will survive this game. Of course, we're in the prologue, so maybe not. No fucking motion controls on this one, baby. I'm holding an Xbox controller. <laughs> I don't got to worry about staying still. It's all about a heartbeat based rhythm game now. 
Ah. Oh. <laughs> Man, fuck those sections. What the hell? Yeah, no worries, Cosmo. Uh, what was that? That was a small child, Joe. Potentially a MacGuffin child. Hard to tell. Um. Oh, hold on a sec. All right, we're good. I had to, uh, where we've got a nice system for the, the phone call situation now, where when I hear the phone ringing behind me, I mute the mic until the old man has a chance to move upstairs. Um, yeah, I like, I very much like the rhythm game thing, um, because I am able to have like, because it's just general movements as well. Like, it's very clear, like, press A button when it's over the thing. I can actually see what's going on with the cutscene. Like, I don't have to focus on it. As opposed to the motion control thing, where I don't know what happened in any of those motion control scenes, especially the ones at the end, because I'm, like, I'm trying to keep that little light bar inside the box. When I tell you I had to, like... If I was holding the controller like perfectly flat by the end of some of those ones at the end of the game, I had it like in the most awkward, like turned to the right and down angles a couple of times. It was, yeah, I hate, I hate motion controls, uh, in games that aren't designed entirely around motion controls. <laughs> Yeah, and and again, that's the beauty of the stream. We all get to enjoy this, and this is a thing that, for the most part, I can do. So we'll all get to enjoy. Anyway, let's see what's... Uh, oh, it's locked. You find anything in these lockers, or are you just going to stand there? Yeah? Okay, cool. I'll go investigate this door down here, what with the shine. Big old pool of blood, so that's a good sign. Oh no. Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that son. So here's the thing. I will say, if a game is designed like the Wii and the Switch have some games like this where it is designed from the jump to use motion controls. And it works in those scenarios. Light gun games, um, Yeah, motion controls. The Wii has a lot of good light gun games that use motion controls. Um, I have opinions on Skyward Sword. Uh, and we don't have time for that. Uh, <laughs> suffice to say, I think Skyward Sword made some decisions with motion controls that I hate. Uh, but yeah. video games. Another thing I want to mention, I feel like I'm not fighting my character as much. God damn. Another stiff? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. I I definitely had the feeling a lot in Until Dawn, and you guys saw it when I got frustrated with it, where it was like my character would just go in a direction sometimes, 
and it would be like, I don't want you to go that way. I need you to go straight. Um. Oh boy, we're back in the era of hold left bumper to walk faster. Okay, I continue to hate that as a mechanic. Um, but it actually does seem to like pick up the pace and not MacGuffin child. Hey, Chuck, you see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? You did get bashed in the skull. Like they, they said you have a concussion. Um, but also there's corpses everywhere. So let's investigate the MacGuffin child. Who might be a ghost? Charlie, get over here. I think this is the best um, divvying up of weapons as well, because Joe has a concussion, so knife makes more sense. You don't want the guy with the concussion to have the gun, and Charlie is hung over. Uh, you don't want him to be doing too physical, you know? And yeah, they did leave the weapons behind for no reason. Making progress. Oh, didn't this room have a bunch of soldier hey, coffins? Come here. Oh. Mysterious child. Are we gonna get the explanation of what you are? Oh god, no. Charlie! Wait a second. Now Joe has the gun? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I thought Charlie had the gun and Joe had the knife, right? Or did I mess that up? It also, it also kind of, kind of looked like Charlie's throat had been cut open. Um. So yeah. Uh. Hmm. All right. Are you evil ghost child or are you MacGuffin child? Uh, the eyes and the knife. Listen. Oh, wow. Now again, chat, we're not, I want to make it clear. I'm trying to play the characters as the best versions of themselves. Not unless it, you know, we hit a point where it looks like everybody's going to survive. We're not playing them to survive. So that guy, you know, what do we know? What is our characterization of him up until that point? He's worried about his kid. He's got a kid back home. He wants his kid to grow up well. He's not going to shoot mysterious ghost child. He's going to panic. And then I guess have a heart attack. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Give us your location. Give us your location. Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? Oh! That was too many arms.
this intro suddenly go so fucking hard Jason Graves fucking going hard on the score. A Conversation with Death. I'm assuming that's this song. Yo, Chemis? Fuck. Alright, um... So this is actually... Given what I have seen of Dark Pictures stuff... I think this guy is supposed to be like the cross game meta connective thing. Cause it's like, it's the dark pictures anthology, right? I think this guy is remember how we saw that DLC earlier. That was like the curator's cut. I think this guy is the curator, but I might be wrong. We'll find out in a moment. Hello. And welcome to my repository. Good music choice for this as well. Nice and creepy. Three-pronged candelabra is the most horror way to light up a room as you're walking about. Respect. I am the curator. The curator of stories. Hell yeah, I fucking stories nailed it. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions, or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? I fucking love this. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. Oh, that's a so much better way for you it to find go. find them and study them. They may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. 
So I am curious if he is a part of the original version of the game because we have the curator's cut DLC, right? Either way, I love... Oh, okay. So we're in present day now. Um, we're approaching an ad. Uh, so I'm just going to run those ads real quick. YouTube, I'm going to see you in a sec because we're not going to do anything during the break. I'm just going to chow down on the rest of the sandwich. Um, as soon as we start talking about stuff again, though, I'll, I'll bring you back. So YouTube, see you in a sec. And we're back. All right. So while we were on break, I looked up what the curator's cut is, and we don't have to worry about it, at least not right now. The curator's cut is, so you saw at the beginning, you had the option to play solo or with other people. Um, I was thinking of the quarry where there's a version of it. You play online and everybody plays as one character. I think that's how it works. Um, it works a little different in this one. It's a two player version. So in that opening, there was Joe and Charlie, right? In the two-player version, you each play as one of those characters. And there's a lot of scenes where it's two characters, you play as one or the other. The curator's cut lets you, in a solo playthrough, play as the player too in whatever scene. Um, and it's essentially a, a new game plus way of experiencing the game. So if we have a really good fucking time with Man of Madon, and we want to see more of it we could do the curator's cut um also apparently this is a short game like six hours um in some cases so we we might do that um again that's assuming you know we have a good time and we want to we might just move on to the next one if you know this is just okay The prologue was interesting as fuck, yeah. Like, I don't know where this is going. Also, we found out what Ashmore twin it was. It was Sean, right? Here's the thing. I don't remember which one is which. What roles has Sean done? Can somebody look that up? Um, because I, I want to know which Ashmore I'm dealing with here. That will color my opinion of their character immediately. Sean was Iceman? Okay. Bobby Drake. Got it. This is an important distinction. Because it's interesting. I'm I love both of them. It's just They've done such a How do I phrase this? <laughs> They've both done a bunch of characters that I love. It's just they've each done like a different subset of characters I love. Um, so if Sean is Bobby Drake, that means he was also in Quantum Break, if my memory is not completely fucking me over right now. Um, Quantum Break, by the way, excellent game. Really hoping that we'll be able to play it, um, before Alan Wake 2 comes out, but probably not, because it's a long game. But yeah, um, Sean Ashmore is wonderful. Um, I have played as him in a video game before. So I'm probably going to fight for him a little harder. Yes, he's the one in Quantum Break. Excellent. All right, so let's jump back over here. Let's get into this fucking video game. Oh, oh man. Quantum Break's cutscenes being TV show episodes kind of broke the deal for me. So here's the thing. I, I totally understand people that hate the TV show thing. One... Um, it's amazing. I love it. Um, I think you can play without them though, because it's not every cutscene is TV show episodes. It's like in between chapters is TV show episodes showing what's happening with other characters. 
Um, and they change depending on your choices. Uh, it's really fucking cool. I, Lance Reddick was in it. I, here's the thing, Mojo. If you don't want to try it, just, just wait around here. Because I'm going to get to it. Because it is part of the Alan Wake universe. This is a confirmed fact. So we're going to get there. Hey, anybody in here interested in, in the game Control? We'll get there. Don't worry. Who? You just putting those feet on display for free on the internet? Sir. Brad. Alex's brother who's witty and innocent. That explains why your feet are just out there for free. How spoopy is control? Um Less than Resident Evil. Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, insecure, something else. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So uh look. Um yeah, control is it leans more to the action side of things than horror. Um Yeah, exactly. It tends to go trippy as opposed to horror for the most part. Um, likewise, Alan Wake is more of like. How do I describe it? Like Man of Madonna and Until Dawn have been very much like. Scare the crap out of you stories. Alan Wake is closer to like a Steve. Yeah, exactly. Alan Wake is a playable Stephen King novel. Like, yeah, it's scary, but it generally isn't jump scare scary. It's like world building and like creepiness scary. Um, Alan Wake is also one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, the reason we're not playing it today, by the way, is because I want to make sure I have Cosmo on comms when I play it because I must share this game. I must. By the way, Alan Wake 2, when it comes out, we're playing it on stream. Uh, Lies of P, when that comes out, we're playing it on stream. Cassette Beast DLC, when it comes out, we're playing it on stream. I talked about that in the Gilded, but not everybody's in the Gilded, so I talk about it here too. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Um. Oh, oh, it's a, God, I didn't realize the timer was counting down. It's embarrassing. It's, it's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. You gotta be cool, bro. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people. Or whatever. But shut up. You gotta... Loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if some... We're going to restart that scene. Because I... I misunderstood something in that scene. Um... I got, so, scene selection, the Duke, uh, override the current save. So here's the deal. I, so far, you have only made choices with your heart where possible. Um, I didn't realize there were symbols on the compass until that last one. Um, So I kind of want to just go through this again really quick. And I'm probably going to end up choosing the same things because I don't 
feel any value in choosing exclusively one or another of a type of thing, but I'm I'm curious what the game thinks counts as heart for the decisions there. Yeah, negative survival skills. FromSoft games are very good. I have not beaten out? Armored Core 6 yet. Why not? We can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Okay. So they both... It's... It's what? It's embarrassing Interesting. taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Ah, okay. So uneasy is logical. Accusatory is emotional. Um, honestly, yeah, let's go emotional. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Also, we... Oh, no. Brad is now envious. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm glad I went back and checked, because now I understand how this works a little bit more. Um, I don't think we're going to only make choices with our heart. Um, they do seem the more interesting choices so far. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Um, I, I don't have anything to add to the assless black folk representation comments, um, based on, you know, everything about me. I, I don't Calvary's have almost here. Cool. any opinions Sorry, or anything to add. I'm just, when you medical school would be stressful, you know, total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, empathetic. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Oh, Conrad. You seem like you party. We don't know who hey. you are yet, but... So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh... Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Is it about proposing to your long distance girlfriend? Uh, be cautious. Are you sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Bearing updated. Oh, okay. I'm oh, okay. I don't know what's happening. Hey, it's Julia. It's Conrad's sister and Alex's girlfriend. And it's Conrad. It's Julia's brother. Foolhardy and relaxed. Oh, Conrad. It's going to be so difficult to keep you alive, I think. But I will try. Sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Connie? Hey, up, oh, man? that's Connor. so cool. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. I I feel like uh, 
TBH. I kind of have a thing with... Listen, here's the thing. I'm looking at Brad, and I feel like Brad easily could have never had a beer before. You know what I mean? I feel like there's absolutely no way this archetype of character having a beer before they go out to sea is going to end well. So he he's... We're just going to channel that anxious energy away from beer. I'm going to call him Sean by mistake. I can feel it. I mean, I how many times did I call uh, Mike Ward in the previous game? You know, like it's going to happen. Um, how are we feeling about the subtitles, by the way, now that we've seen them for a bit? Do you want me to make them bigger or are we feeling good about the size? Because I do, I do think I'm going to jump over to this. I think they begin so far. I'm going to bump up the choice text size to 24 and the sub choice to 20. Um, and we'll just, you know. Bump that up to a 35. You're lurking in and out? No problem, SJ. Don't don't feel the need to come out to lurk if you just want a vibe. Uh, seasickness? Brad. Bradley. Ray Brattleberry. Ray Brattleberry, by the way. Great nickname. I'm going to bump him up just a little, a little tad sandy more. I'm thinking like a nice 28. Same for choice. Um, because I would like them to be about the same size as my captions. You see legs and it comes in a can. There we go. No, no, no. I will throw nah, up. Ah man, you you really, really don't Here's the thing. The fact that this man was like, You don't want to see me throw up, that was one of the options. He would have thrown up. I guarantee it. And I don't want that, and y'all don't want that. Regardless of the effect it has on the plot. If if Brad dies because he's not drunk, that's fine. As long as we don't have to see somebody throw up hyper-realistically in this video game. Want to see me, you know, blowing chunks? <laughs> Suit yourself. You ever do any diving before? You gotta be cool. Yeah. Totally. Well, all the time. Nice. I was worried they're going to stick me with a noob. Oh, nope. Not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trips. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the brother's advice was say yes to everything. But you know what's worse than saying no? Vomit. So anything we can safely say yes to, we will. <laughs> Saying that you dive all the time is Where's fine. The old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Hello, Fliss. Um. Damn. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but. Uh... Same, Conrad. Same. So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. <laughs> Get fucked, Conrad. But also, I would have done the same thing, so. Fair. The boat does the talk. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. 
I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Nah, faith in your brother. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Faith. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. I don't give a shit about Fliss's opinion of me. What you got? As Alex. As CJ, on the other hand. Ma'am. You know? Feast your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kitten's good? Yes. Our miniature horse is good? Yes. Brad. Hey, I freaking nailed it, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? Watch me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, the B-29 is a super fortress. During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. And they were just, like, so dope. Ah, oh, so dope. Oh, my God. Uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, nerd burst. <laughs> oh, please, keep going. Uh. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Mm. Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Fliss, I've got I some unfortunate news. The first one down there. We're gonna Can touch so much stuff. I'm touched? I am gonna do some reading up on B-29s. Here's the thing, Fliss. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. Can we talk about how Conrad was in a completely different dimension for a moment there? That man's eyes were so close to closed. If you had told me he was asleep, I would have believed you. He is gone. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Let's go check on the bro. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. Oh. Hold on. Hmm. I don't think might be a way in. This doesn't look kosher. <laughs> Fliss out here saying. Oh, we're going to do this legit, right? Oh. You know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Yeah, I can we turn it back on? Oh, did I fuck up? All right, well, um. Yo, little bro. Howdy. Oh, picture. Give me a vision of the future. What am I looking at here? Um. Okay. Interesting. Much prefer pictures, by the way. Um. Just going to the back here. Any skeletons in the closet? I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. It's a book. Alright, let's 
Let's uh, give this room a once over. And all right, let's go talk to our brother. How's it hanging, sport? Man, still can't believe we actually found the plane. Hard to get anything accomplished with Captain Eagle Eye on our backs. Ah, she's just doing her job. Man, I really can't wait to see what you find down there. Enthusiasm. Well, if there is anything cool down there, I'll nab it for you. Just don't let Captain Killjoy find out. I get Fliss has her rule. But man, it'd be cool as hell just to get my hands on some little relic from my first wreck. Don't forget the camera. Picks or it didn't happen. Oh, uh, enthusiasm. Okay, Professor. Any hot tips on what I should be looking for down there? See if you can find anything to help us figure out what their mission was. Welp, see you later. Sure. Thanks yeah. for checking in. Still a little bit of tension between the brothers. Um, hey, let's talk to Fliss. Um, Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Get her ass. How experienced are you? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, I know what your fake credentials say, but I don't know the truth. <laughs> Were you snooping around? You don't trust me? You don't trust us, bitch. The fuck do you mean? The fake certificate is only temporary. My old one expired and renewal out here is like extortion, okay? This dive is supposed to bankroll the fees. But that's not exactly following the rules now, is it? So I guess that applies to all of us. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. I'm saying nothing, because neither of those are good responses. You know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. All right, let's take a look at some things here. Almost got the gear good to go. You need a hand? Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Uneasy. So, about that, I just wanted to let you know I'm pretty sure her diving license is fake. I asked her point blank what the deal was. Fliss says her old one expired and she needed this trip to pay for the new one. So she got a fake one in the meantime. Explains why she's acting so weird. Wonder what else she's hiding. Yeah. At least we can use it as a bargaining tool if she pulls any more goody two-shoe bullshit on us. But my dad's lawyers would love to hear all about it. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Hmm. You know, I don't think that toolbox is supposed to be floating like that. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Am I supposed to be able to see anything, or is it just, just these little boys? Okay. Well, that was kind of neat, but, um, you know. 
All right, let me take a look at this before. Because full offense intended to Conrad. Um, I don't know if uh, our boy knows what he's looking at. So this is interesting that it doesn't seem like this unlocks anything. This is more for our benefit. So we've got doors at the front, left and right. Looks like windows or a hole partway through. And then one at the back. So if we get stuck down there, we got options. And we just got to not panic and remember these things. Okay, so this is the rebreather way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Oh. Okay. I didn't know about the, the decompression time thing. Whoa, 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 eager beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Oh, hey, guys. What, Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Knife! Looking for a first mate, Captain. Um... Just don't give up. Camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. <laughs> All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. All right. I I feel like that was one of those moments where things easily could have gone sideways. <laughs> the bang stick, you know, for sharks. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't like that leaving that behind was an option. It it is a snoot whooping. Whoa, you good? More or less. Ah, uh, sharks. Too bad Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Nope. If 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 the if it does go sideways, and we got to boop one of these. I vow of silence. Nobody tell shark. Okay. We're all on the same page here, right? Shark is great. She's wonderful. But exact Mojo gets it. Exactly. Hey, Cone of silence, be... folks. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> Not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You? 
are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Here's the thing. We're hitting one of those moments where I want this character to drink with Sean Ashmore. But given everything we've learned about this character and how anxious she's been, that's absolutely not what she would do. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Yeah, don't, don't You have. know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Uh... Sorry, I've got enough on my plate for the moment. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Ship shape. That is a blank screen. Let's turn that back on. Weather looks clear. All right. We're just, we're, we're just going to leave that on for now. Um... What do you have to say about your fake ID? Yeah, people already found it though. Oh. Oh, she owes big cash. Okay. Damn. All right, let's go take a look at the, I'm assuming the engine stuff is going to be accessible back here. You know, oh no, this is uh, just this. What's the word? Why do I keep these around? Was that? Yeah, that's that's Conrad. All right, Conrad. Uh. I guess you're gonna cut and run later. Um. I, I yeah, I guess we're just killing time, eh? Listen, if they were being fucking snooty, searching around your shit, we can take a look at their shit. You know, it continues to be a book. Well, let's go talk to the one that we don't hate. Uh, oh, wait a second. Huh? Uh, no, that was just the sun. That wasn't a... Okay. Well. Hi. Hey. You okay? Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Hope they know what they're doing. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Hmm. Are you close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. All right, well. I don't know, can we do boat stuff? Is there anything 
Are there any non Conrad options? Ah, boat stuff. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. No, no, by Knox. Any ghost children on the horizon? Any corpses in the water? Birds, perhaps? Noticing a distinct lack of birds? All right. One more time. Water? Water-based corpses? Water-based... No, nothing. Well? Oh! I can... I can look at the camera. Wow. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Yeah, it's a big old fucking bomber. That's... Oh, thank God, I've done enough stuff. What's that about? Not the Coast Guard! That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? This feels... off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Pirates, Peanut! Pirates! Hey, get out of here! What do you think you're doing? Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. Conrad, you're about right, to get the you shit kicked out of you. Bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Remember when I was like, I'm going I'm to do my best to keep Ashmore's character alive? There might not be a force in the verse what can keep that white boy alive. Because, goddamn, that was like two hundred dollars he just threw into the water, taunting obvious pirates. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Yes, the butthole That's of right. the boat. We can get him through there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Oh. Wait a second. Hold on. I can explore this pipe. It's very narrow. And full of jagged, oh, rusty metal. You You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? No. It is kind of dangerous.
the fact that there is an option to go, yes, while diving in this enclosed space, I think I'm going to take my oxygen supply off. No, here's the thing. Julia might be flippant, but as flippant as these rich people are, they are still alive at this point in time. I think there are certain things they would not do. I hope. Exactly. I, and I especially think Julia would be willing to listen to Alex, who is like, you know, the boyfriend who can, cares about her. Um, we'll probably make a lot of bad decisions as Conrad. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. That's kind of cool. The rescue boats is missing. Think they were we found a secret boat. Wow, that was secret 40. Using it? Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, if Julie were solo right now, she would have made that choice. Good God. <sighs> no. No. What was actually this is not immediately dangerous. This is just disrespectful. So she would. Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. Ooh. It's a locket. Here. Plane crash. People look at things. They knew they were goners. Generally, you know the plane is crashing much before it crashes. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. I don't like that we used the boomstick to open that door. We are without shark repellent at this point in time. That gun could go off for like no reason. <laughs> oh, fish. So cool. Oh. Gives you lemons. Ew. Motherfucker. <sighs> I'm okay. Oh. It's always the first jump scare that hits the hardest because it lulls you into that false sense of security. Like, maybe we're still in the intro. Maybe we're not going to get jump scary quite yet. <sighs> oh, the VTuber's stuck? Yeah, it looks like. All right. I actually found a potential solution for this. Um... No, no, it's completely froze. That's so bizarre. So I looked in the, the Warudo discord to see if anybody was running into a similar problem. Um, and the fact that it seems to happen like randomly is what really makes it especially confusing. 
it might be the particular tracker that I'm using. So I might try switching the tracker um, at some point. But short term, we just got to keep an eye on it and occasionally reload it. <sighs> oh, God. Oh. Hey, you know what, though? This gives me uh gives me a chance to to breathe after that fucking oh okay pilot and co-pilot gotta be plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish okay Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Before you touch anything else, um, can we just go up to the front and get the gun out of his hand? Is that... No? This is what we have to do? Okay, cool. So cool. Like, oh god, yeah, yeah, I fiddle with it, girl. Uh, uh, oh, Julia, who'd have thought? Just, who'd have thought? Else, <sighs> god damn, um. As deep as they are, shouldn't they be wearing wetsuits? Um, I believe they're actually not all that deep. But I also don't know what counts as deep for diving, so I'm not sure. Also, yes, it is a, a horror movie, so we do... Um, we do have to give... Oh, are we not supposed to go back yet? Oh, is there something else we have to do up front? Cool, cool, cool. Is it the gun? Is it the obvious gun? Do we have to deal with it? Or is there... Yeah, we're in here. Okay. Um... Okay. I'm all right. I guess I'll just leave and he'll catch up. I don't, I don't rightly know. What did oh, free bullet? Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Why is Brad just hanging out up there? Oh boy. We gotta get out of here now. Oh? It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Oh boy. Pretty tired, so we'll probably lurk. You know what, Owls? Lurk away. Lurking is encouraged. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. I, uh. What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh. I don't know. I. I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's it's not the best time. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. 
All right. Enjoy. Enjoy your uh, for children adventure. Um. We're just gonna say nothing. Cause. Hey, seriously. That's not what I said. Nothing. Yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just forget it. I shouldn't have said anything. Come on. We've really got to get up top. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait. Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait. We have to decompress. Yeah, you, you literally can't do anything. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. How How is decompressing selfish? If you go up there and get the bends, you're not fucking helping anybody. You're just going to be another corpse on the boat. Ah. Uh, it's okay. Yes, it's taking a long time. Oh God, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. All right. Bearing updated again. Still don't know what that means. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? Anxieties. What's up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. Well, that was an adventure. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Can I just say I I enjoyed the like like the psychiatry parts in Until Dawn were unnerving, but it was a nice way to break up the chapters. Like I liked the effect it had on the flow of the story. So I'm super on board with this like curator thing. It ties the games together in a fun way. Both seem and it gives us this like death. narrator thing. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? No. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. Yes. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms. Charms so and quotations. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Oh, that's neat. Well, I kind of like that. Just kind of letting you know how things are going on a very general level, you know? Anyway, um, ad break time. Um, we're just going to, we're going to talk about the game while the ads are running. Um, cause like, this is interesting. So this is really interesting. Uh, in particular, we haven't checked out this screen much, but we have traits on here. 
But the difference between this and Until Dawn is I think these may actually have an effect on how characters react when you're not in control of them and what options are available to you. Based on how it's like you gained whatever trait, like it feels like that will change things. I also like this where we can see what we have done with each character and the effect it has had. So we have not interacted with Brad, Fliss, or Conrad relationship-wise, and you can see, it's hard to tell, I think, on your side, because um, it's very tiny, the bottom of the, the bar for Alex indicates the starting position, and the top indicates the current position. So Alex is higher now than he was at the start because we have all these up things. Uh, yes, the Mozart during those parts is incredibly creepy. Shika Wolfie. Now that is a face that I have not seen in quite some time. How are you, my dear? Um, you may be trapped behind ads right now. And I apologize if that's the case. You caught us right in the middle of an ad break. But if you can hear me, it's nice to see you. I haven't been able to make it to any of your streams in like a fucking eternity. But I hope you're doing well. Interesting. So now that we're in a new chapter, we can see some of these. Okay. Huh. Okay. So the effect. Interesting. So we can see the effects before. We don't know what speedboat is, but now you have the ad. Uh, if somebody can tell Shika, we've got like 20 seconds of ads left and then we can conversate like normal people. That'd be awesome. I know she saw the, the, the start of the stuff. Oh, it's so, it's so wonderful. Yeah. Now you're free. No, I know they just started, but they shouldn't run past the 20 seconds, I don't think. Oh, I, I hope not. I hope, I think the woo indicates freedom. Maybe, maybe freedom? Freedom, question mark? Yes? No? No? Yes? Well, eventually, we will have access to Sheikah again. Um, let's take a look at this. Brad told Alex to think things through. Alex was anxious on the dive. That's fair. And then the bends. Um, no one has the bends. That's just objectively a good choice there. Um, you hear me? Yeah! But yeah, Sheikah, it's wonderful to see you. Um... I, I so I'm on Gilded now. I don't use Discord as much, so I haven't uh, I haven't seen anything from you in a while. And so uh, yeah, I should uh, I gotta try and do better about using Discord from from my peeps that are still over there. But but how you been? Uh, for for everybody here that does not know Shika, uh, which I think is probably most of the ones in here right now. Uh, Sheikah is one of my pals from the old Mixer days. So, way, way back we go. The before times, as it were. Yeah, right? Mixer. What a throwback. But yeah, we are... Uh, we're old buddies. It was the good old days. All right, now that ads are like definitely 100% done, let's get back into this. Um, 
let's see what's gonna happen on this boat at nighttime. I'm sure it will How be well good. Life. Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Uh. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. That seems almost certainly what happened with Conrad. I've been streaming a bunch? Yes, I have. So I started streaming again um, beginning of August, give or take. Uh, maybe end of July. Uh, and I've been streaming pretty regularly since then. Um, I've been very bad about tweeting about it, which is why... You probably haven't seen anything because I almost always forget to announce I'm streaming. Um, but yeah, I, this is um, like, this is basically my part time job at this point. Um, I stream five days a week currently, um, every day except for Tuesday and Friday on your average week. Uh, and then on Tuesday and Fridays, I often guest on my good friend Cosmo's stream. And uh, Faye are actually the one uh, that I'm running the Gilded with. Uh, and Faye are also often guesting on my stream, but appointments and such today, so I'm flying solo. But yeah, it's been, it's been really good. It's Cosmo, yes. The Maelstrom Mind is Cosmo. But yeah, things have been going real well. Drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. It's true. We have a lot of good beans in here. Uh, let's be serious, because that boy was Alex, anxious. you're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. Monsignor Mopington? Julia. Another good name. Are you happy? Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future. You know? What's next? Happy, you goon. I think we've got a long and happy future together. I do. Really. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. Romance! I love you, Alex. You know where everybody is? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? But Mojo, isn't she exactly hey, the type of person who would be? Uh, no, I... Uh... Oh. Sadly, your break is over. Yeah. Uh, I usually stream from 2 p.m. to about 6 or 7 uh, when I'm streaming. So I don't know how that lines up with your work schedule, but potentially I will still be on. Either way, it was nice to see you. I'm glad you got to meet all my new community people. And I hope your day at work is good got distracted let's go get him sure onwards to find conrad which one is uh you know where the magic happens conrad please <laughs> on behalf of my family i'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader ah uh, it's okay i can deal with children Ooh. Conrad, here, where are they Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Fucking get his ass. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. I think I fucked up. <laughs> the navigator's pad that we found. Did I totally miss 
something? Or was that something that he found? <laughs> okay, I'll go get it. Hey. All right. Oh, look at the camera. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. I'm sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. Oh, wait. Yeah, look at the camera. Beep. So, does Beep. the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Beep. Let me just say this Beep. once more for the record. Going into that Beep. plane was super dangerous. Beep. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever. Or else we're going to go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Hold on, I gotta get to that one Sign me up. that had text that I jumped hey, to past. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Oh no. I took long I took too long with the camera. No. Got it. Let's go up. Oh, that's right. It was the thing he grabbed at the end. Come here, you vixen. Wait, they get to have a cute moment because Isn't I took too better? long. We should get back. Right here. So I did the correct thing. Smooch. I'm so glad he's handing them out. <laughs> <You're good>. I. <laughs> when I tell you that I saw him picking up four beers and I expected his next line to be, oh no, these are for me. I'm, oh. My opinion of Conrad no is so there. low. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow, you find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Um... Is the brother underage, or why didn't he get a beer? At the beginning, Conrad offered him a beer, uh, and I was in control of him. So I said, no, I get seasick. Um, because I feel like Brad has never had a beer before, and I didn't want to see him vomit in this game. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. Hold on. It's that phone call. call. You think you can scavenge down there? That was Candy Bag Mom uh, trying to figure out what the plan was for the blood work that I need to get done. It makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred. You got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. What? What was this sudden change in tone? 
Hey, tell a ghost story. Listen. We're going to go with skeptical because this is just embarrassing. I don't know if Brad is really the scary type. You know? Okay, wow. Well, don't get too confident. This is a All right. pretty I totally misread what that meant. And um, we just shit-talked Brad a little bit. Cool. All right, well. Story. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night. Oh, okay. I have to tell y'all something because this is, this is so funny. Okay. So everyone, for those unaware of what Blue was referencing with Press X to Doubt, that is a reference to L.A. Noir, which is a game I want to play on stream at some point because it is such a cool game. Um, one of the problems with L.A. Noir is very late in development. Like after all of the voice lines were recorded, they made a change to the dialogue system. OK, so originally. Um, I'm going to look it up because it's important to L.A. Noir original dialogue options. Yes. So originally, so in L.A. Noir, your three dialogue choices for any moment are truth, doubt, or lie. So you think this person's telling the truth, you're doubting them, or you're explicitly calling them a liar. Here's the thing. Originally, the three options were coax, force, or lie. Now, force, by the nature of the word, a lot stronger of a word than doubt. So there are a lot of moments in L.A. Noir where you'll press the X button which was the option associated with doubt. And then the main character would say just the most outrageous things. Like there's one in particular that goes with the press X to doubt meme, which is like, you're having a calm conversation with this guy interrogating him. And then you press X to doubt. He's like, you like to fuck kids, buddy. Like just out of nowhere, the harshest accusatory shit trying to force a confession out of the guy but when it's doubt it's yeah <laughs> truth i believe you doubt you could be lying lie motherfucker i will break your face yeah no so um the the remaster swaps it back to the old options of coax force or lie um and then the dialogue choices make a lot more sense but yeah um, I fucking love noir stories. I love noir games. Um, so that's absolutely on the list. But I had to share that because it's such a wild thing because of a very late choice in development. Sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shh. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse and there, Splayed out on the floor is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. No, you have nothing to add. 
Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet, says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I oh was going to live God. in marriage. So the lighthouse... <laughs> Look, look at Alex right now. The, the, <laughs> the immediate and obvious panic. <laughs> oh, no, your anxiety's not going to get any better, buddy. This is going to be a rough video game. <laughs> Closet opens the door. <laughs> sure enough. Oh, <sighs> but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. It's hey, ol, super twist. Nice. That's lame. It's not scary. Don't quit your day job. No, oh, that was actually pretty scary. You have me going. Pretty cool. <laughs> I think he told it better last time. But good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. I, so I will say, I think Fliss is pretty consistent in tone. It's just, she's, she needs the money from this trip. And as much as she sometimes like loses it and goes off on them, she's trying not to because again, she really needs this money and she wants to keep them from making more mistakes. By the way, that little like closet type of bed, um, I bring this up all the time. That's like my ideal bed where it's like nice and enclosed like that. I love the idea of that. People talk about those like capsule hotels and they're like, oh, you know, you, you pay a couple bucks and somewhere to sleep, but it's awful. And it's like, wait, but it's like, it's a bed and a little table to put stuff in, and that's it? That sounds awesome. I would love that. So yeah, just another example of how I'm weird. Oh, hey. Now, they don't look like pirates, but maybe? No. Go, Conrad! Combat! Ah, it is a pirate. No. Oh. 10 QTs in succession. Hell yeah. I thought maybe they were ghosts at first, but nah, they're just pirates wearing ponchos.
I think I'm playing as Conrad. Okay, yeah. I'm playing as Conrad right now. Which means this is the one. Bro code is important. Oh, I don't think they can untie. Ooh, oh, he got pretty fucked up by that bottle. Hey! Hey! Damn it! Stop it! Almost free. Hey, um, can we just get a, a, a double check on those um uh content warnings? Because I can't see them. We got any uh essay or anything of that? nature because if we do um we don't okay because that does feel like where this is going right okay i don't like how often they zoom in on feet um hey so uh good news bad news bad news i don't see how this could get any worse bad news is these are kind of Maybe the fisherman I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? Don't worry. If they were going to kill us, they would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. Guys, we got to get untied. Like now. One of y'all already has their hands in front. If anyone should be helping untie people, it would be her. You know? It's not good. Come on. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. I mean, oh, yeah, you know how to treat a lady, right? Jeez, slow down. Easy. Keep your mouth shut. Knife against the throat. We finish with the blade. That's when he would stop. Julia, you're coming back. 
So I just need y'all to understand that um, mentally, where I am taking Conrad right now, um, for those of you familiar with Archer, there's a scene where he goes, all my life, my default setting has been half-assed. But now that you've threatened my family, I have switched it to quadruple-assed. Wow, that's a lot of assed. So that's what Conrad is right now. For the first time, possibly in his life, he is being serious. And he will do whatever he can to keep these people safe. So long as the game gives me those options. If it doesn't, he will continue to be a complete flippant jackass but trying to take him in the direction because i was able to glass a motherfucker earlier i think we'll be able to make conrad both flippant and incredibly competent all of a sudden oh jesus conrad Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. All right. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, don't let them see your hands, my guy. You were just angrily knocking on the door. They know you're not tied up, or they're the worst pirates ever. Maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. <clears throat> Whoa! Did y'all see the curator in the background there? I think I saw him behind the pirate. Fuck. You see him there? In the suit? Oh! Hey, hey, are you okay? Hold on. It is, it is not often I'm gonna do this. All right. Sorry for the noise. I don't think. No, all right. All right. I know when I'll be able to pause it in just a moment. Damn it. No, I got to get it the, the first time. Ah! They're coming. Hold on. It's all right. I know where it is now. There. Over the right shoulder. You see the guy with the hat? Kind of looks like a suit and tie. And when you keep watching, right? When she looks through, you can see him again. Yeah, see? You can see his face for a second there, and then there again. That... That's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? I'm 
much money they have. I wonder if he's been in the background in other scenes. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. A gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just. Stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. This is so cool. Um, so here's the thing. I don't think the curator is there. There. Like, I think the other people are like, because it didn't look like the, um, the the pirate saw him there like there was no indication of it and because he only appears in the background i think it's just a neat little thing I misunderstood what that prompt meant. I didn't think that was a choice. Yeah, okay. I I feel Listen, if the vagueness of a choice gets us like that, then Thankfully, by the way, it is um just scenes. Um, let's try continuing. No, okay. So we're gonna have to redo the scene. Uh, yeah. See, that's the thing is, I thought it was don't leave boat unarmed. If if we get screwed over by the the ambiguity of a choice, and I didn't actually make the choice I wanted to make then we're gonna we're gonna go back and we gotta unfortunately redo a bunch of stuff here because yeah i mean like why would i have guessed that that choice was commit a murder or run you know especially because we have the the uh this one, right? Which is go for boat. Uh, do I want to hit at? Yeah, we're, we're 25 minutes out. So I'll just, we'll get those going now. Again, this is, this is consistent with how we played until dawn. So. that one definitely hit us with 
that one choice at the end where it was like, I didn't realize this was the choice. Oh, right, we got QTs here. We're going to speed run this shit. Uh, you know what, YouTube? You don't need to see this again. I'm just going to pause. When you come back, we'll be at the window. There we go. Welcome back, YouTube. We're almost caught up now. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Uh, what is the point taking them out one by one? Um, well... The pirates are outnumbered. They do have weapons, but... Okay. So the next one's seven. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, he, uh, he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. Okay. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these. So this one, through. I have to hit it at six. We're gonna break them during the thunder. Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So on six. I have to hit the button on six. Two, three, four, five, six. Conrad, just get to the wow, that's a rare achievement, eh? To be fair, it's kind of confusing. All right, we just gotta play this cool. No. Boat. 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 You know what? I've had enough. I want you off my boat right now. Get off my damn boat! Yeah, Conrad, yeah. <sighs> oh, jeez. Okay. with this old junker. Yeah! My buddy's gonna rob up the cavalry. You lose. Let him go. No! Alex, this is crazy. Conrad's coming back with help. For now, you listen to me. Don't make this any harder than it has ah, to be. You're delusional. Ah, oh. <laughs> Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Oh, look, Fliss is in her uh, drawers as well. Arrêtez, bon de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Damn, Danny. What was Alex's plan? Uh, I think Alex's plan was just, hey, our buddy's coming back with help, and I've got scissors to your boy's throat. Um, if you just surrender now, it'll be better for you overall. Which, 
honestly not a bad plan. Like, Coast Guard's going to show up. They're not outrunning anybody in this fucking old-ass diving boat, you know? That's good. Olsen. Oh. Come here. They found the note for the gold. Is it good French? That's good. It makes sense. They're a Canadian dev. They would have access to, like, people that can which speak English and French pretty solid. about this Manchurian gold? Scissors doesn't beat gun. Well, I mean, scissors doesn't beat gun, but it's another piece of leverage on top of Coast Guard is on the way. You know what I mean? Like, scissors versus gun, you lose. Scissors and Coast Guard on the way versus gun, it's like, maybe you can convince them to back down? And now we're Fliss. Oh. Montreal. Oh, that makes sense. Love Charlie it. Can take care of himself. All right. Shut the fuck up. If guy with gun says shut the fuck up, you know shut I the like fuck up. You. Nothing. That's right. Nada. Complete fucking silence. Get it? I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I... I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us there up. There I are, so. Put a cork in it. <laughs> Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Oh, they let her put pants on. That's nice. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here, we can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info, we'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. No! Oh, Jesus! Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? 
Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. Ah, anxiety. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Whoa. I am so fucking frustrated with this. Again, I'm completely misunderstanding what the choices are. Like, mm. all right, hopefully I caught that one quick enough. I don't think I did. Down there. God damn it. So it saves right after you make the choice. Uh, I'm hoping the storm is a separate scene than intrusion. And I apologize for going back, but it's like it. It's so frustrating. Fortunately, storm has not been going on for that long, but it's like we. I, because we got this photo, right? And it's him down there. So it's like, my assumption is him being down there is a good thing. Especially because it's called high and dry. So when I made the choice, he could drown down there. It's like maybe... A guy goes down there to try and get him and he can get the gun away from him or something, you know? But no, it was pull him out of that scenario. <sighs> Connie can take care of himself. All right, shut the fuck up. If, if it keeps happening, I will just like you know what I like to hear? I'm gonna try my best okay. to just let things ride from That's here right. on out. Nada. Because, Complete fucking like, silence. Get it? I'm just I gonna don't say know. it. Flitz has gotta be in a. damn. It's annoying. These guys, they travel in the same waters. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, so put a cork in it. <sighs> Sit still, all of you. You come with me. Yeah, if it keeps happening, then it's just like, these aren't isolated incidents, that's just how the game goes. But... I would prefer not to lock myself in like that, but... I guess that's the game, at a certain point. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. It's just frustrating when it's like... I didn't make the wrong choice. I just didn't understand what the choices meant. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Okay. 
than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. still alive things could have been quite different <sighs> I seen your hat wear an ass in that previous cutscene you appear to have saved somebody a bold move that paid off this time but does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yeah. Y yeah, curious. <laughs> okay then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. Oh yeah, I love the Will. of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached the point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. You sneaky fuck! Everything is not what it seems. Fuck. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! Everything is not what it seems. Junior, you retire la tête de l'image. Yeah, so the boat's not going anywhere. Seems. Fuck, what does that mean? God, I went from annoyance to 
fully invested in like one fucking scene. What if it's Fliss? Damn, Daniel. Just looking at shit. This whole place is a floating death trap. Keep moving. I am so fucked up by that comment at the end by the curator. Like, because, well, Alex was accusing Fliss of being in on it, right? And the things that Alex said actually make sense. Like, yeah, the one where we were talking to the curator. At the set end, he said, everything is not what it seems. And we're playing as Fliss, so it doesn't make sense that Fliss would be in on it, right? Because that's a player character. Why would the player character be in on it? But if things are not what they seem, then maybe the obvious needless tension is not obvious needless tension. Maybe it's correct. She needs the money. Yeah. It's a couple of rich kids and their friends that they don't give a shit about, right? Fake license. She needs money. And, you know, like she, you're able to control her when they first arrive in the fishing boat, right? And, and you have a lot of options for what you can do there. So it's like, why wouldn't she curse them out when she had the opportunity and justification? Because that's the thing is like, as long as they're just suspicious and they don't know for certain, they'll trust Fliss more than they would trust the other, the other pirates, right? Like if you were in this situation right now, all of you are very trusting of Fliss right now because you don't think it doesn't make any sense for her to be a pirate which is exactly what you would do. Exactly. She's known to them, however shady she may seem. She's not one of the pirates, a hundred percent hard confirmed. They may have theories. They may be throwing out accusations, but until the pirates explicitly say, yeah, she's with us. Like it's just speculation. Cause yeah, like, they beat the shit out of Conrad for being belligerent. Alex has not been all that belligerent. Julia hasn't. And Fliss got up in their faces pretty heavily. And also, there's the part where Fliss is yelling at the guy as Conrad is going for the boat, right? And that could easily be read either way. Is it... She was yelling at the guy to keep her distracted from Conrad? Or was she saying, get off my boat? As in, hey, get off my boat. Look over there by your boat. You know what I mean? I fucking, we did all this shit in Until Dawn as well, where it was like, 
picking up the little breadcrumbs of plot and trying to put things together. And I fucking love this feeling right now of trying to figure the story out. God, they fucking got me. I'm so into it. Why does nobody have shoes on for this part with the rusty ass boat? This is not the kind of place I've been spending my vacation. Can I look at this poster? I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Oh, grab the cross. It's an important tool for later. Oh, Miller. What are these guys gonna do with us now? It's Miller time. Is this the early aughts? Um, I believe this is when it came out. So like 2019, 2018. I think 2019. Oh, oh shit! God damn rats! Oh, you you missed something, Alex. There's a collectible here. Private O'Neill, you're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again. Conveniently, it's always when he has guard duties and hold 3A. First is 2400. Check the chart for rotation. Again, this is the third time this week. None of us like it down there. Maybe Patterson should just buck up. Just get on it. Okay. Yeah, I think Fliss is in on it, but she doesn't personally know them. Awesome. You're involved, you see. Okay, all of you, into the room. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really like, Danny, maybe we should give them a light. Junior, what? So they can find their way out of there? And, they, and Alex is like so taken aback when he gets the flashlight. Like, oh, 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 thanks. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. You still with us, Captain? I got fucking, it, it was the thing, oh no! It was a blue X and I pressed the down button because I was playing Until Dawn on the PlayStation and that's where the blue X is. No, no! Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Oh. What the hell is this fucking place? It has to have something to do with the Manchurian gold. We're not far from those coordinates. Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold. Guess it's a possibility. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land again. How's that for a plan? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. Yeah. We need to get it back. While those guys are out Food owl, no. Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're going to find on this floating coffin, we got to take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. No, you're totally right, uh, Alex. Excuse me? 
I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kind of accepted. Cool. Man, I'm so suspicious cool. of everyone now. Fuck. I'm all fucked up. Um, food owl? Food owl is the owl what lives inside of my phone and reminds me to take my pills and eat. So that was my reminder to eat lunch. Because it is 5.30. But now is not the time for lunch. Now is the time for video games. Uh, Julia had time to tie her shirt up. They all had time to get dressed. Like, you know, the other guys got rid of their ponchos and, you know. This is very strange. They, they had tiny glasses back then. I don't, um, I'm not entirely certain what's so strange about that. Sure. They had time for clothes and still forgot shoes. Yeah, that's what I was saying. All right. Miss J. Riviera, Cincinnati, Kentucky. Hi, baby doll. I miss you like wild. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. Alex? I've been on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers, but don't worry, keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I blah blah blah. This guy. Miller? Guy seems pretty spooked. Spend a lot of time guarding the cargo to dark is secure. Get a job as a mechanic, get married, have two children. Be happy together forever. Love you so much. Miller. We found Miller's shirt earlier. I wonder if it's the same Miller. Probably. Or maybe the boat is the- Oh, look at the ship mascot! The goodest boy! Anyway, this was the SS fucking something. Let's see if we can find the other part of that sign. So we, we can learn that the true name of this ship was the SS Miller Time. Probably not, but like, how great would that be, you know? I wonder why they all left it behind. Gangland. Worst gangland killing of 1947. Archaeologists missing in Iraq. 24 bit Brits went missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. Uh, uh, all right, well. Oh, I wonder if that's a reference to one of the other games, because I know there's soldiers in one of the other games. That'd be neat. I like the idea that it all... Oh, wait, hold on. That's clearly the way we have to go to escape. We have to see if we can find the rest of the SS Miller time sign. Hey. I found this letter that was never sent. Okay. Well, it said there were rumors about figures roaming around the cargo. Figures? You want to be more specific? Seems fucked up. Look, I'm not really sure what he meant. All I know is that I just get this really creepy feeling like something terrible happened here. Something is wrong. I don't like it. I don't like a single thing about this place. Not at all. That seems like the obvious reaction. I found this note. It was back in the bunk room. So it says that this guy, Patterson, kept playing sick, getting out of guard duty when he was supposed to be in the hole. Oh, sorry, Blue. You're not, you're not a VIP. Hold on. It actually reminded me I wanted to change that. Wait, but you are a subscriber. Huh? Are you... Robot, are you drunk? Quote. 
Oh, it's exclamation mark quote space ad. There we go. Yeah. I was like, what's not working? All right, we're good. Um, uh, I missed the start of the stream. Doesn't this game start with soldiers? Yeah, there's um, like end of World War II soldiers. Um, so it might be connected to that. I know, I want to say the third game, the third Dark Pictures game has like soldiers in Iraq or Afghanistan. But maybe it is connected to this game and not that one. Hmm. I guess he did it like a bunch of times. Yeah, no worries, Blue. Anyways, it, it doesn't seem like anyone liked it too much down there. So what I'm gathering is the crew, man, they were pretty creeped out by whatever the hell they were carrying on this ship. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Back on the Duke, I overheard them talking about the Manchurian gold. <laughs> I really don't think they had any of this planned until the gold caught their attention. We need to watch them closely. This could go from bad to worse if they don't find... I don't think they had any of this planned until they saw that. Mmm, my suspicions. Mmm, she might actually be pissed with them because this went from an easy kidnapping gig to whatever this is. They're looking for. So, what do we do? Look, we need to either find a way out of this room or we need to be ready to make a move when those fishermen come back. Okay, well, we're not going to do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. Just... Be careful. All right. Let's give the rest of this room a quick once over. Just confirm there's no further piece of sign. Ah. <sighs> I guess we'll never know the true name of the SS Miller time. A vent! Hey, look! Look at this! I guess I'll look around the rest of the room then. Hey, how are things over here? Yeah? How about over here? This continues to be a door. We were only supposed to rob them. Pirates speak international French. That's good to know. What do you think? I can't get it open. 
Uh, I don't think Until Dawn had any queer characters. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Yeah, this is the way out. Want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait! Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Ah, uh, distract. Manchurian candidate. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my god just just junior realizing his one job was to keep three people in a locked room and then in the distance just the ah <laughs> Ooh, that got me Oh. Keep going. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. Oh, that fucking got me. Too funny. <laughs> I was such a genuine. Ah. Uh, extra guard duty regular. Can I read these in the thing like last time? Oh, I can see part of it, at least. So it just summarizes them this time around. Yeah, so the one we just picked up, hold 3A, nobody was allowed inside. Yeah, I've been <laughs> all of it is basically don't fuck about and also don't go and hold 3A. Bunch of old clothes? Yeah, that makes sense, Alex. That's a totally reasonable thought. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Very cool. Very, very cool video game. Okay, well. This was the worst room so far. Please let me out. It's just so weird that they all just vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. It's a map.
I think I can conclusively say that this boat is shaped like a boat. All right, come, Alex, you can figure it out, my guy. There you go. There we go. We got outside the door. Good job, buddy. Come, come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. We got stuff to check out in here. It's like, I don't know, mirrors and stuff. All right. Apparently, I was wrong. There's nothing to check out in there. You think Conrad's made it? He can be pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. That's not really an answer. Well, then, sure. I think Conrad's made it. Oh, great. You hear that? Yep. Something moving around down there. What? Like what? I'm not sure I want to find out. Fliss, you are navigating this ship with the speed. It's a book. Can we open the book? Book. All right. So identified problem areas. Cargo hold one. Responded to complaints. The electrical equipment had been malfunctioning. Electrical storm. Uh, oh, Jesus. We got enough problems without an electrical storm. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this ship is pretty fucked up. And also, if it's in a storm with lightning, the entire thing lights up like a fucking Christmas tree. <laughs> Have fun. I wonder where everyone went. They probably got eaten. Everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. No, they probably got eaten. Touch it. Wow. That's awful. Um, is there... No, you can just look at the rat skull. Hmm. Hmm. Circle the rat, dude. Keep it together. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah, it's a book. Open the book. All right, Thursday. Skipper KO'd the booze for the whole trip. Uh, there was a fight. Ferris snipped it in the bud. It's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a feller who had helped load up the ship. He told me to put a bunch of weird coffins on board. Uh, real precise they were placed uh, booze was a bum loss Perez said he felt drunk after four cups but I said he was talking baloney it was like ditch water yeah so there's people on the boat trying to make booze um, it's not going so well for them guy who's going to help me get in the hole has been side off sick uh, Miller says it's something about that place. Perez said that the boys made more hooch. Too bummed out to sneak and try some. What else is there to do? New batch is worse than the last. Uh, I was on duty with Wallowich. Uh, started to creep me out. Started babbling about some sergeant called Jones that went MIA in the jungle. Reckon Jones and his crew were the ones in the boxes traveling home. I sneaked a look in Jesus. There it was, just like the guy on the port had said. All laid out real nice. Oh, glory over each one. But it's Jones in there. They've done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us out there. He'd make sure we all came back. Boat Moonshine is a new one to me. Oh, that's a, that's a Navy classic. And they'll be like, ah, no booze on the ship. And then they'll be like, hey, there are exactly seven cubic inches of space behind this locker in this particular armory and i'm going to create a still in here so that we can have booze mm. 
You would be amazed at the locations people can create stills and the materials they use to make stills. Oh, picture. All right. So if there's a scenario in which um, Alex gets left behind with um, Olsen there, he gets his head taken to the wall. So that's one that I think we should try and avoid, if at all possible. Do you think it's people or zombies? Shh. Everyone quiet. There it is. The goody. The gubbin. Look. It's the distributor cap from the Duke. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, it's on. Olsen with a goddamn sledgehammer. Barking orders, big guy. Why? Okay. Fuck off. The fuck was that? Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. We're gonna follow them. Don't let them out of your sight. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. Gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. All right. I, I I think Fliss is in on it. I'm sorry. That was the most pathetic interaction. We gave her the warning that someone was coming. She waited until they were in the room, ran to the distributor cap, and then they lightly grabbed her throat and she put her hands up and that was the end of it. Like, nah. I got this. Nah, I call bullshit. Oh, man. That, nah. What's Internal memo. Oh, good God. Why do I need to see this now? Wow, we have a makeshift chapel. That's, that's a good sign. Right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. All right. 
actually we just swap characters um and and given the time i think that's we're gonna wrap up today uh so we're gonna get at least one more episode of this because i'm enjoying it so far there haven't been any big issues uh so we're definitely going to come back for this again if we really enjoy it in part two we'll do the curator cut so we can see the other side of things um and then yeah we'll see how things play out from there youtube you potentially the next vod you see will be part two of this but it might be a bit until we get to part two of this. It depends on scheduling stuff. Because again, I really want to make sure we get through Alan Wake before Alan Wake come Alan Wake 2 comes out. So that's gonna be the priority. And any day we can get an episode of that in with Cosmo, we will. Um, but yeah, otherwise, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed yourself today. I hope um me getting scared so badly that I broke the VTuber was a highlight of your evening because i know it was for me and i'll see you around